All right. Hello, hello. Welcome to the Life in Transitions Experts YouTube channel, Facebook group. We are also live on uh, Instagram. Would love for you to hit the like and subscribe to follow us for hopefully helpful content for you. I'm Courtney Rollins. I am the host and operator of, of the State Pro Service. Well, the host of Life and Transitions Experts channel, uh, and also the operator and owner of the State Pro Service LLC, where we help families really make the probate process and the state planning easier, all while solving problems and creating income and wealth, primarily through real estate. Uh, so uh, this channel, I try to answer questions that come up quite often when it comes to that space. And when it comes to estate planning, um, one of the the important things to consider is what type of care you want to have for yourself or for your loved ones as you grow older. Um, one thing that's awesome about the day and age we live in is that people are living longer. There are advances in technology, advances in um, just uh, quality of 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 living that's allowing folks to live longer. And then when we think about that, we wanna know how we're going to make sure that quality of life uh, continues. And a lot of folks like yourself and like uh, me even, on a personal note, are experiencing um, our parents getting older. Um, and the question of how, what type of care they need and how to do that uh, comes up. And so today we're going to look at and talk about assisted living care in North Carolina and five things to consider, particularly when you're trying to decide, should you keep for yourself uh, in-home care or, or would, should you uh, do another route where you actually go to an assisted living space uh, or facility? So let's, let's look at some of these things and see if we can uh, get down to it and um, provide some clarity uh, for ourselves. Um, so number one, the uh, first thing you want to think about is the level of professional care and support that uh, that you may need or a loved one may need. Um, In-home care where you bring nurses or there's a wide range, really wide range of, of both these spectrums of assisted living, in-home care and, uh, um, you know, a hybrid model. Uh, all of them should be, you know, professional top-notch uh, caregivers. Uh, when you are actually in an assisted living space, quite often, that care is around the clock assistance. When it is in-home care, um, unless you have someone specifically living there with you, it can be a certain amount of time, certain amount of hours. So depending on your your loved one or your senior's needs or the level of attention they need, maybe something you think about when it comes to uh, whether or not to go to an assisted living space or provide some other type of care. Another thing to consider is super important. It could be number one is social interaction and community. Regardless of whether you decide to stay in your home or connect to an assisted living space, it is so important that you continue to have some type of social interaction. Uh, loneliness and things of that nature are can be as harmful or even more harmful than other things we may consider, you know, bad for our health. Whether it's eating or even uh, sm uh, smoking, loneliness and low levels of social interaction can has can be directly correlated with lower uh, levels of health. Um, and these facilities quite often have uh, group outings connected uh, in their, their they're literally designed to foster a sense of belonging and reduce um, the effects of isolation and loneliness can, can cause. So that's something to consider if you're thinking about whether to be in an assisted living space or to put the loved one in an assisted living space. Another thing to think about is the quality of life. Again, when it's a lot of these assisted living spaces, and I've uh, been able to go to several or many because of the world and space that I'm in. Oh my gosh, they're like condos. They're like, and I'm, they're, I think standard has become a, a level of like a, of amenities that uh, people have grown accustomed to as, the, you know, the old sterile nursing home um, that may come to your mind is becoming more antiquated and less, uh, more in the minority. And these homes that are sometimes cross-generational, where you have different generations of people living there, but you still have the core uh, space for uh, folks who need assisted living uh, are involved. And the amenities are just, I think, are quite top-notch, uh, of course, depending on the space you're in. So uh, your quality of life and the things that you may be able to uh, use uh, really goes up when you're in assisted, most assisted living spaces, whether it's fitness centers, libraries, beauty salons, and again, those organized outings, which is so important. Another thing to consider is the safety and security 
Uh, of course, when you're living at home, you want to make sure that you're safe and secure. And an assisted living space is going to have that safety des um, in mind, design, whether it's a large facility or even a small one. Um, making sure that the entrances are secure, make sure that there's a ability to communicate with loved ones, that staff are super responsive. Those are all a part of the structure of many spaces, so uh, that's something to consider. Uh, then, of course, is always the finances. Paying for assisted living. Assisted living is expensive. Um, when you compare it to in-home care, it actually can be comparable, or sometimes in-home care may be even more when you count uh, the the if you're doing it hourly or if you're doing it by a chunk, sometimes in-home care could be even more expensive to assisted living. But that still doesn't make assisted living something that's inexpensive. So right now, while whatever age you are in, whatever level of care you need, it would be very important for you to go ahead and think about and how you're going to support your needs as you get older or, again, your loved one's needs. And uh, final consideration is, um, is I mean, fi the finances is something of course, we need to consider a lot of folks find themselves in the space where they need to come up with money very quickly for their parent or for their loved one uh, because of some health issue that has come up in the ride. And sometimes uh, the option, the biggest option is downsizing from the home that that loved one lives in. If you need an option for uh, selling your home or any other option of finding placement, finding a financial plan, connecting with some estate professionals so you can secure uh, that legacy and make sure that you have the funds for that assisted living or uh, that, that support you need, feel free to reach out to me. We'd love to speak to you, see how we can help. I am a senior transition specialist along with a probate sp uh, specialist um, and would love to talk to you about how we can help you or your family. Um, feel free to reach out to me, Courtney at estateproservice.com or www.estateproservice.com. All right. So this is a short and sweet one today. I hope it's helpful to you. This is Courtney Rollins with the State Pro Service and the Life in Transitions Experts YouTube channel. That's L-I-T-E. Let your light shine. Cheers.